Hi there, welcome to another video uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator with the honeycomb yoke and throttle quadrant and a tiny bit of axes and O's just so we can see what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, it's not vital, not important, uh, but it's how to fix a bug on the enunciator panel. Uh, let me demonstrate the problem first of all and then we'll see how we can fix it. So um, let's get out of here and I'm in my uh, Cessna cockpit and if I bring the enunciator panel up this is my camera pointing at the enunciator panel here and if we switch the uh, battery on let's get some current flowing you can see the enunciator panel is lit up uh, but there's nothing lighting up on the low voltage that's missing it's here on the screen it's okay here in the uh, this um, display here it's showing low voltage but it's not coming up there and in fact if we get the engine running and switch on the alternator you'll see that the low voltage enunciation goes from here and nothing appears here if I turn it off the alternator off we're back here and it's not there so it's definitely a, a fault here and we know that that's being driven by the drivers that um, I've downloaded and installed so that's where the problem lies if we flick behind the scenes here and I've got a shortcut to my community folder here and this is where the drivers are it's in the AFC bridge and in the binaries it's in the bin folder and if it's untouched you will just have the exe file and the configuration file and as ever if you're playing with the configuration files make a copy so that if you mess things up here you can go back and sort things out so I need to open this and I'm going to open it with notepad I usually use Visual Studio code but uh, just to show that you don't need anything extra to do this we'll just do it straight away uh, with um, notepad and we need to scroll down here and hunt out the one after the parking brake position that's one that stands out to me as I'm going down because um, it's sort of labeled in, in the same order as the um, LEDs on the um, on the enunciator panel and in fact it's this one here and although it's low voltage on there it's going to be looking for the amps on the electrical main bus and that's what it's looking at at the moment it's configured to switch the LED on when it equals zero um, I think you're probably miles ahead of me when uh, if you see that but uh, let's go back into the flight simulator and show what we're talking about and so for that I'm going to use axes and O's and I'm going to use the scripting here which is going to watch for a simulator variable and we're looking for the amps so we'll select a variable and we are going to hunt down the amps and watch what happens to the amps so it's the electrical main bus amps measured in amperes we're going to add that and you can see at the moment it says zero so according to the logic the light would be on but there's no power going to the enunciator panel because the battery is off so it won't light up if I switch the battery on but power is now flowing but you can see it's gone to minus five and because it was looking for equals zero it's not going to happen and so it's actually measuring the amps out of the battery at the moment or the negative in depends how you look at it and if we start the engine and throw the alternator on because it's gone positive lose the alternator it's gone negative it doesn't actually go to zero well it only goes to zero when everything's off um, but that's no good for us so it's fairly obvious I think what we need to do let's go back and reconfigure the file so it's as simple as it's not equal to it should be less than zero and then it should fire so we'll save that 
close it back into the flight simulator and if I bring my camera back into play let's turn the battery on and nothing's changed um, the enunciator panel here it's still showing nothing on the low voltage we need to restart the flight okay so it's probably best if we do this in a full window here so click on it here and go for the full window and do a restart on here so just need to restart the flight we don't need to go out and uh, into the world map again or restart the whole simulator this should be enough so if we go into here and we'll just reset that view so you can see what's going on and battery on and there's the low volts now showing on there and just to prove it does work properly we'll start the engine up and we'll turn the alternator on and the low volts light goes out so that's it that's the fix it's just um, they put equal zero rather than less than zero you could if you want to be pedantic put less than equal equals to zero um, but actually it just does fall below zero as, as soon as you turn any power on i have no idea how a bug like that gets out into the into the wild and doesn't get picked up earlier but um you know they are it it um it works that's it so that's it a uh, simple bug fix and um, and then a little look at how you use a variable to see what's going on behind the scenes okay i'll see you in the next recording